Hi, I'm James from Val White Marine. This morning I'm going to show you around this uh, Haynes 32 sedan that's behind me. We currently have it for sale at our marina in Wargrave. It's a 2016 boat, very low use. It's only done 74 hours with the current owner so it's, it's and it's been well looked after so it's almost looking as new. Come on board and I'll show you around. So I wanted to start your walk around of this boat today just standing here on the swim platform to demonstrate how easy this boat is to move around. It's a very level boat. Uh, it's great if you don't want to be going up and down stairs all the time and just move around freely. So there's a transom door here that I'm just going to step through from the swim platform and take you into the main part of the boat. Now I wanted to spin you around and uh, just let you see how that looks the other way around. You can see how easy that access is there and uh, how much seating you've got out on that aft well. Inside you've got a little settee here with a flippable backrest so I've set it up here how you would have it if you were just sitting out enjoying the view or possibly even eating because the table is freestanding from the saloon and that can step just be lifted out uh, and you can all sit around and eat there. Alternatively that backrest flips over hopefully no video bloopers and then that forms part of the main saloon so that you can sit around the table in here. Just before we go any further forward, I just want to talk about the finish on this particular boat. This is the Haynes Walnut finish, and the boat's been finished with cream ultra leather. So it's got a very luxurious feel throughout the whole boat. Although it's a 2016 boat, it's barely been used. So you really can tell, I'm hoping by looking at this video, at the condition of the boat and how little use it's had. Just in terms of overall uh, effects in the boat, I've left it set up deliberately. Uh, on the port side, you can see I've got the Venetian blinds open, on the starboard side closed. That just gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, how you can set the boat up. Those blinds can be lifted completely out of the way. On both sides, they have LED lighting hidden up at the top which gives quite a nice effect in the evening. Up above, we've got a sunroof. I've opened it up today, it's a manual sunroof uh, from Wabasto. There's also um, a second skylight, which you're just gonna see coming into shot there. And the whole thing can be closed up at nighttime with a sunscreen, with a sort of sun blackout and going the other way. Nice sunny sky today. That comes across. So if it was a warm evening in the summer, you could pull that right across, have the fresh air, but keep the flies out. Stepping back and looking at the helm over on the port side, you've got a freestanding uh, helm seat. And then the helm itself is pretty conventional. You can see on the right hand side there, you've got bow and stern thrusters. A nice feature of this boat, which I'm hopefully going to try and show you, is that it's got remotes for that as well. So if you're in a lock, you've got some tricky maneuvering, you can have somebody assisting remotely with the thrusters. Uh, speed and depth I've got switched on. It's not showing anything because the boat is on the hard standing, but just, just to demonstrate there. And then over on the left-hand side of the helm, you've got a stereo, which has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can just uh, pair up your phone or whatever other device and play your music through the speakers. Underneath the helm, you've got the controller for your combined battery charger and inverter. We've just got the boat on charge only as it's hooked up onto the shore power. And then after that, you've got your brake covered. You've also got your battery, battery master switches in there and uh, your fuel cut off should you have an emergency. Moving off from that breaker cupboard, you've got uh, like a sideboard, nice flat top, TV point, power point. You could have your TV set up on there and then loads of storage underneath with a double cupboard and three drawers. Great place to keep your drinks. Speaking of which, there's another great place to keep your drinks over in the starboard side here. You've got this little cocktail cabinet, lift that top up. It's got a nice gas strut and uh, holders in there for all your favorite drinks. Moving forward, as we go down into the galley, you can just see on the left-hand side there, you've got your um, Ebus Batcher heating controls to keep you nice and warm in the winter. Galley is over on the starboard side. It's a U-shaped galley. Um, and I'm just gonna step you down in there so that you can have a proper look at what kit you've got included. From time to time, there will be some video bloopers. I'm gonna edit them out as best I can, but uh, by the same rule, um, it shows I'm human. So coming into the galley, you've got uh, your hob there, glass top covering that over, three burner hob, Underneath you've got your oven and then going round to the side you've got your fridge freezer. I am going to call it a freezer, because, fridge freezer because it has got a little freezer compartment in there so you can make some ice to go with the aforementioned G&T. So following on my storage theme, uh, everybody loves a bit of storage especially when you're out and about on the river for extended periods. Coming down the main steps from the saloon, uh, that flap lifts up, gives you access to a really deep uh, gas drinks, water, whatever, locker. It's not refrigerated but it's still pretty cool by virtue of where it is. And down on the floor you've got bilge access but also that probably would give you some storage for anything you wanted to keep cool but not cold. Great place for your wine or your beers. 
Opposite the galley, you've got the shower and toilet compartment. Um, please ignore the loose hose hanging there. It's just because this boat is currently winterized as she's on the hard standing. And once she's recommissioned, that'll all be connected back up. You've got a bowl style sink. She's fitted out with uh, electric flush toilet. And just over there as well, you do get a tank, uh, sorry, gauge for your holding tank. So it's a nice, neat toilet, lots of nice finishing touches. There's some storage down underneath there. Um, and the overnight worktops, which match in with what you have in the galley. So the forward cabin of this boat, you do have an island berth, which is nice. You don't have to jump over somebody to get out of bed if you do need to go out in the, in the night. Nice touch and by popular demand. Uh, up above, you've got your skylight and like the saloon, you can have blackout options and going the other way, you've also got your, um, your fly screen. Reading lights on both sides of the bed, and then just I'm going to move you around on the port side. I am struggling a little bit with the sun coming through the windows today, so it's not perfect. There's a TV point and a power output there, so you could have your TV in here, small TV on top of that wardrobe. And then the wardrobe itself, these match either side. Um, there's some infills in there, um, but you've got uh, LED lighting that comes on automatically and a great place that you can uh, have separate storage for your clothes, his and hers. Underneath that bed, there's a little bit more storage. Everything's at a premium, but you've got two deep drawers uh, as well. And just while I'm down here, worthy of mention, you've got your heater outlet there to keep this cabin warm. So I'm going to take one final uh, just little shot walking you back through the boat. Again, just to help you understand how it flows and feelings. You've got the steps coming out of the galley and then you're back out into that aft deck. I have got the canopies down just because it's quite cold today, although it's really, really sunny. But of those all um, come off, so you just have that totally open feeling. And up top there, there is a, a canopy section that slides forward to give you a really open air feel. So that's us done today on this boat. I hope it's been worthwhile for you and giving you a little bit of a feel of, of what this boat's like. I'm gonna put the link in the description so that'll take you straight to the boat, but please do feel free to email us, ring us, we can answer any questions, and uh, hopefully at some point show you around the boat. Thank you.